Hey guys. How are you? Praise the Lord. It's another day that the Lord has made for us to be glad and to rejoice in it. And I want to welcome you to our lesson for the day. But before we start, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. We want to thank you for giving us life, for giving us good health, and for giving us this opportunity to hear your word. May we be able to listen to your word and make the word part of our lives so that we can live according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, our lesson for today is called Source of New Strength. The Source of New Strength. And uh, the source is where the, something comes from, the source. And uh, new strength, why do we need new strength? Because we get tired, we get weary, and we need to be strengthened more so that we can continue with our daily lives. Our Bible story comes from the book of Judges, chapter 16. Verse 23, and this is the story of the death of Samson. We all know about Samson, how he was born, and the kind of life he lived. He was a very, very strong man, and his strength came from his hair. He killed a lion with his bare hands. He killed 3,000 men with the jawbone of a donkey. Once he was locked up in the city, he carried the gate of the city. The gate. And it is not like these gates we have in our homes. This is the gate of a whole city. And he carried it away up the hill. He was such a strong man. And his strength came from his hair. Now, the Philistines who were fighting against the Israelites, plotted how they were going to capture Solomon, Samson, sorry, so that they could, he could be defeated and they would not be, the Israelites would not be able to use him against them. So they tried many plans until they came to a woman called Delilah. Delilah is the one who made Solomon, sorry, Samson give the secret of his strength. They did not know the strength, but they used Delilah to know the strength of Samson's, the source of Samson's strength. And when she had discovered the source, she cut off his hair. His hair was cut off and he lost all his strength. And now where we are reading now, Samson has been captured. They have removed his eyes so that he cannot see where he, wherever he's going, so he has to be led by someone. But even after the hair was cut, it started growing again. And at this point, the Philistines were enjoying Solomon. Uh, I don't know what kind of games they were playing with him, but they are all gathered in a big hall. The king, the queen, all the big people, the prime ministers and the ministers and all, all the important people of the, <clears throat> from the Philistines. And what happened was, Solomon was brought to entertain them. He told the young man who was leading him to lead him to where the pillars which supported the building were. And when he got hold of the pillars of the building, he prayed to God. His prayer is found in verse 28. And he prayed and said this, Then Samson prayed to the Lord, Sovereign Lord, help me. 
Please God, strengthen me just once more. And let me, with one blow, get revenge on the Philistines for my two eyes. And God answered his prayer. He was given new strength. And he pushed those pillars and the whole building came down. Solomon himself died with these people and we are told there were 3,000 people in that building and they all died together. So Solomon prayed for new strength. He got new strength and he was able to kill 3,000 Philistines. Now, what does this got to do with us? First of all, we must know that our strength comes from God. It is God who gives us strength. God gives us strength through what we eat because he provides us food to give us strength in our bodies. And there is no other source of strength except God himself. God is our only source of strength. And God does not only give us physical strength, he are muscle, what he unajenga muscles. God gives us strength to think. The strength of our minds. Because we need to think. We are living in a time when things are bad. People are bad. And God gives us the strength and the capacity to think when we are confronted by various situations and various people who want us to go the wrong way, to do the wrong things. God gives us the strength of mind to be able to know, to be able to resist, to be able to say no. I think once I told you, when someone tells you something which is not right and they want you to do something which is not right, say no and say it loudly so that everybody can hear. So God gives us also strength in our minds to be able to distinguish the bad things, the good things, and to be able to resist when we are faced with bad situations or bad people who want us to, who want us to do the wrong thing. Um, God gives us new strength. Why do we call it new strength because as we go through life we get tired there are situations when we work physically with our hands we get tired and we need strength to be able to continue whether it's at home or in school we get weary by weary, I mean you are not physically tired, but you, you can be even mentally tired. And you feel like you don't want to continue. Your mind tells you this is too much. But God gives us strength to be able to continue. He, he renews our strength. The way he renewed Samson's strength and he was able to kill all those Philistines. Um, uh, strength, like we said, comes from God alone. He's the only one who gives us strength. And I want us to go to our memory verse for this week. And our memory verse is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. And it says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and will not faint. Let's read that again. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So, 
if we hope in the Lord, if we hope in the Lord, we trust the Lord for everything in our lives. He will renew our strength. That is a promise. He will renew our strength. And whatever we are doing, we shall not be tired. We will not grow tired. We will not grow weary. We shall not feel weak. But we shall soar up. We shall fly up like eagles. An eagle is the bird that goes highest when it is flying. So when God renews our strength, we shall go high up and we shall be able to continue in, with strength and with hope in the Lord. Now, to get the new strength, we need to pray to God for new strength, like Solomon did. And God is faithful. He will provide us with new strength. Whatever the situation requires, He will provide the strength that we need for that situation. So remember to keep on praying. Remember to read the Word of God. Because through the Word of God, we also get strength. When we see how God, what God did with other people, how God strengthened other people, and that will also encourage us and give us, renew our strength, as well as praying. So that's the end of our lesson for today. Uh, I hope you continue to pray, you continue to read your Bibles, and God will bless you. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word for today and your promise that you will renew our strength. We know you are the only source of strength and you are there. And when we pray to you, you are faithful and you renew our strength for whatever the situation is and we shall be able to continue and soar up like eagles. We thank you, Lord, because you love us so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.